Omega Supreme, do your thing! Hello Transformers fans, back with another Patreon special missions request. And this one comes from a very special good brother, Wolfgang Van Holland. And it's for one of my all-time favorite toys of the 80s, the Autobot Defense Base. Omega Supreme! I've wanted to do this one for a while now, but I haven't had time. So I'm glad Wolfgang gave the orders for this top priority mission. I have been waiting. Well, the wait is finally over. Let's take a look at one of the most awesome G1 Transformers ever made. What's the story on Omega Supreme? He was released in 1985 and was the biggest Transformer up to that point, as well as the first motorized one. It comes with a motorized tank with flashing turret light. He was also one of the few Transformers up to that point that wasn't designed by Takara. That's right, Omega wasn't originally Omega. You were one of the Guardian robots? Well, yeah, but in addition to that, he was a toy box release called Mechabot 1. And even though countless kids in Japan beckoned, Get us to Japan fast! He was never actually released there under the Transformers banner in the 80s. It was obvious Omega was a force to be reckoned with just from his tech specs. Function. Defense base. Unyielding resolve has no conqueror. The ultimate defense force. Great strength, even greater courage. Serious, even grim. Last line of Autobot defense. Protects the Ark and all else vital to his cause. As robot can shatter a mountainside. Lift 300,000 tons with clawed arm. Destroy 12 inch steel cube with plasma blaster arm probably a 12-foot one as well, has head-mounted laser cannon, can transform to laser cannon tank and launching pad with rocket. Rocket can achieve planetary orbit. And if that didn't build him up enough, you quickly found out what he was capable of in the updated intro of the cartoon in 1985, where in just a few seconds on screen, he steps on Blitzwing, the hefty-sized triple changer, crushing him like an insecticon. Autobots, But before we get to his Decept stomping mode, let's first take a look at his alt mode, the Autobot Defense Base. How oh, I love this place. Me too. The Autobots called the Ark home during the first two years of Transformers, but a toy version was never made. Some kids may have called Prime's trailer Teletran 1, but it was way too small to believably be where all of the Autobots hung out. Omega Supreme wasn't just a character, but a location an actual playset where the Autobots could converge, often for away missions to outer space, thanks to the rocket that stood in the middle of the base. Rocket mode, Omega Supreme! And other far-off planets, like Titan, as with most G1 Transformers, the scale is off here so the Autobots couldn't actually fit in the rocket, so a little imagination had to be used until the world's smallest Transformers came along. Despite the dramatic launches, Omega wasn't all that adept at sticking the landing. Crash! Inevitable! Flight! Even when he didn't crash, long trips took a big toll on the big guy, and he was known to blow apart if he pushed himself too hard. The other part of the defense base mode was the tank and track. I didn't have a train set growing up, so this was my equivalent. The motorized tank took long cylindrical double A sized Energon uh, tubes, I guess you'd call them, and when activated, the tank would roll around the track while the turret flashed and spun around, providing 360 slag to any Decepticons who dared approach this base. Not that kind of slag. This was one of the coolest toys I had as a kid. The idea of a toy being able to move itself was new to me, and also a welcome break from the imagination and elbow grease that most toys required. It seems like my Omega rolled around this track forever. I did for millions. 
millions of years. They sure don't make batteries like they used to. What's your energy status? Dwindling. Okay, we'll shut you down for now because we're gonna need that last bit of power for your other motorized gimmick. Omega Supreme is what Transformers fans call a parts former. Unlike most G1 Transformers that don't require parts to be removed and reassembled like a model kit to transform, Omega's robot mode was pieced together from his components of rocket, gantry, tank, and track. So to transform Omega Supreme to robot mode, first you... The Decepticons have captured Cosmos and Power Glide! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here! Decepticons rule forever! <laughs> Omega! Omega, can you hear me? Your voice heard. The Autobots need your help! But I can't just leave my post. Sure you can, your duty is to defend the Autobots. Transformation impossible. Come on, man. Megatron and the Constructicons. 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 Enemies. That's right. Enemies die. Well, don't you think that's a little bit stark, especially for an Autobot? Question irrelevant. I'm just saying, the Autobots are supposed to be the guys who stand for... Lock. Excessive. Time. Limited. Okay, let's do this. To transform Omega into robot mode, the track and gantry separate into smaller pieces, forming the legs, backpack, and wings. The rocket splits in two, forming Omega's cannon and claw arm. Omega, ready! The claws can move in and out, giving Omega a gigantic grip on any decep unlucky enough to get within his reach. And the cannon arm provides titan-sized firepower. And the head can also turn backwards and use the tank turret cannon in robot mode for extra firepower. <laughs> and without a doubt, the coolest part of Omega Supreme in robot mode for me was his ability to walk on his own. Omega Supreme will stop him! By flipping the switch on his back, Omega Supreme walks while the light in his head lights up. Destination sighted. You can do it, Omega! Go, baby, go! You said it, Jazz. This was amazing in 1985. The slow, deliberate, powerful stride of the Autobot Colossus was a sight to behold. I must move quickly. Well, that's not exactly a sprint there, OS. Sarcasm not appreciated. Sorry. Trip long, fuel reserves low. What's your energy status? Energy output, 97%. You're almost there, big guy. Hang in there. I must rescue my friends. Just as vigilant in robot mode as he was in base mode, Omega Supreme was like the big brother of the Autobots. Always ready to, eventually, bail them out of any kind of trouble they got themselves into. He was very logical in battle, except when it came to the Constructicons. Revenge soon. And with how Devastator, as well as Megatron, always struck fear into the hearts of the Autobots, it was cool to have at least one Autobot who could not only stand up to them, but ragdoll them. Release Autobots! Megatron! And when the enemy couldn't be reasoned with, Omega had plenty of muscle to do his convincing for him. Release them! Go, Omega! Give it to him! Grant me mercy, I beg of you! Megatron was no match for Omega Supreme, but there was one Decepticon who could give him a run for his money. That's how many encounters with the Decepticons would end up in the 80s in my house. Megatron failed. Once again, the Autobots are safe thanks to Omega Supreme. 
We are all thankful to you, Omega. The mountainous monument of duty and loyalty to his brothers. Duty ignored. Duty fulfilled. Although Omega was never released in Japan in the initial run of G1, he blasted off into the land of the rising sun in 2007 with Takara's Encore 09 reissue. This version was identical to the original, with one exception. Instead of just an empty face covered by the face shield, Encore Omega had a face sculpt inside. If you're not a fan of this face sculpt, or if you've always thought this version of Omega wasn't quite big enough compared to the other Autobots, it's Crazy Devi to the rescue! This customizer offered upgrade parts to trick out your Omega, with parts such as a new face sculpt, a clear face shield like the one on the cartoon instead of the original orange one, articulated claws for even more grip strength, cartoon accurate shoulder add-ons, and extensions for the legs to give him a few more inches of height. Results disappointing. Oh come on, it's not that bad. Especially if you collapse these treads back into the body. Plus it gives him added booting power for kicking some Decepticon booty. Best of all, the walking gimmick still works with these leg extensions. I love these kinds of upgrades. It's like a fresh coat of paint on an old favorite. Whether it's the upgraded version or the classic, Results same. Omega remains one of my fondest toy memories of the 80s in both motorized tank mode as well as the ever striding sentinel watching over the Arcbots. Thanks to Wolfgang for the request. Hope this put a smile on your face as big as the big guy himself, good brother. If there's a childhood favorite of yours I haven't covered here yet that you'd like to see honored, you too can give the special mission orders by becoming a general or ninja level supporter on Patreon. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this visit to the legendary Autobot Defense Base. Still vigilant after all these years. Feel free to share with your Transformers friends, leave a supreme comment below, and to join the tribe, crush subscribe. Then let's go home. Nerd mistake. Imminent.